Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a AFK command using Mongoose since it was requested multiple times by multiple users in my Discord server. So now let's hop into the video. Alright, so first of all, we're going to make our schema. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new schema and call it uh, AFK schema, AFK schema.js. All right, and I'm gonna first import mongoose equal new uh, equal require. I mean mongoose, and then I'm gonna uh, create a new schema doing. Uh, const afk oops schema equal uh, mongoose dot schema and let me first go here and put module dot exports equal mongoose we're gonna make a model dot model and let's put here uh, AFK and then uh, AFK schema. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just creating the actual schema, like how the data will be saved in the database. So first of all, we need the user ID. So user ID, it's gonna be a type string and required i forgot the wait here i'm gonna put true or true and then uh, i'm gonna make the gold so gold id gonna be type string as well and required True. All right. So uh, let's put AFK. It's gonna be a boolean. So type gonna be boolean. What does boolean means? Like true or false. Okay. Let me now go here and type here uh, default. Gonna be no or falls I mean let's let's go falls and uh, let's put now the like the reason so the reason will be saved so AFK reason gonna be a string And default gonna be no. All right. So we're done with the schema. That's the schema so far. Now let's create a new uh, file here. And let's name it afk.js. So first of all, we're gonna put here like top slash top. And everything will be wrote in here. Let's name it AFK. And we want to import our schema. So I'm gonna do const schema equal, oh, let me put a small s, uh, require dot dot slash dot dot slash uh, schema slash AFK. So let's define our data. So data gonna be uh, let's first make it in a try and catch like this catch. If there's an error, gonna just log it. Console dot log e. So data gonna be 
await schema dot find one So we're going to be searching for the user ID and the guild ID. So the user ID is going to be the message.author.id and the guild ID is going to be the message.guild.id. Okay. So if no data, because maybe it's the first time you do it. So if there is no data, okay. We're gonna create the data. So data equal await schema dot create. I'm gonna just put those here. All right. So we wanted to send a message. Say message dot channel dot send. You are now AFK. Okay. And then we're gonna put data dot afk because here oops, we named it afk, so it gotta be true. And then we want data dot afk reason to be the orgs dot join. That's basically the reason. And then saving the data, so uh, await save dot data like that. So now we're done with this one. Let me show you how it works. So if I went here, there is no data basically. And invalid to yeah, my bad. So I just changed the token. So now let's try it. If I went here and I did equal AFK, it gonna say you are now AFK. And there is an error, save is not defined. Where is that AFK? Oh yeah, it's data.save, my bad. Okay, so let's try it again. Not sure if the data is here. I don't think, wait. Uh, somehow it is here. Loading database. Let me check. Yeah, it is not there, but, but it's just because I sent a message. So if I now did equal AFK, you are now AFK. If I reload this, I should see this as true. Let me now reload. It's true. If I try to do it equal AFK, uh, sub to ultra x and I went here reload as you can see so now we need to go to the message event and start sh changing the stuff we need to make it work so first of all I want to require the schema so const afk s I will just name s so this is a schema equal require dot slash schema slash afk schema okay let me scroll down so here in the message event I'm I'm going to uh, just make a big space here so I'm gonna first make the data as always so data one or like data two is better so data two and then as always in a try and catch like that console.log error let me put them twice because we will need them twice basically so let this be data three. So data two will be a weight, and we're gonna do uh, uh, AFK schema dot find one, 
and the user ID gonna be the message author dot ID and the guild ID as so always the message dot guild dot ID. All right. So if no data, data gonna be await afk schema dot create user id i'm gonna be message dot author let me just copy it here okay so we will not touch this right now we don't need it right now we just put it down so first of all we want to do if we want to check if he is afk so you gotta put afk uh, not afk data2 dot afk because here it's afk as i said before so dot i dot afk is equal 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 to true then we want to say that data2 dot uh, afk reason we want to set it to null so it's gonna be equal to null and then data2 dot afk we want to set it to false so he isn't afk anymore and then we're gonna put message of reply or message uh, dot channel dot send you ain't afk anymore and then data2 dot save all right so if i now tried let me just do no dot I'll wait a couple seconds so if I now try to uh, do AFK wait uh, am I I'm true already let me make myself false so I will do hello you're now AFK now it should say true and then hello yep and I got Other here, index, dot afk, yeah, just ignore that. And then if I did now, uh, like any, if I, if I said anything like that, it should say you ain't afk anymore, as you can see. So if I went here and reload, this should be false and this should be null here. That's because people are sending messages, so it just save their messages. Because my bot is like there is other other people in the server, you know. We want to make sure that when someone ping me, he got the message that I did. So if message dot mentions dot members dot first. I want them to check for the data. All right, so uh, let me copy this basically because it is the same. I'll just change to data three here. So data three, data three. Also, this should be data two. And this data two. That's why I created my ID twice. And here data three, data three. Now it should work perfectly. So, and here this should be a wait. So we want to do if if data. Three dot afk is equal 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 to true. 
then at that moment I wanted to message the channel dot send here message dot mentions dot members dot first sorry for my dog out there barking dot user dot tag and then we're gonna put uh, two points like that and I suggest you putting it in a embed so if someone try to ping someone it doesn't work like someone can just ping himself saying it, like the reason will be at everyone but it will not ping at everyone but the bot have a permission to ping at everyone so when he do it the bot can can be able to ping everyone and read your server so you better just put it in an embed so it don't ping anyone so here gonna be data3 data3 dot afk reason all right and i just want to put those so if there is no reason i said no reason i don't know why everything that makes sound want to be around me right now even more cycles are around me why all right let me just no dot should be working perfectly now So, database clear, reload, yeah, clear. So, I will do AFK hello or sub to all tracks. Sub to, I like sub to all tracks. You are very close to 400 subscribers. So, yeah, here you are now AFK. So, if I went here, AFK. And I am here and this is not my ID so this is not me so now if I went here and pinged me myself from my alt uh, error nope oh yes guys I just realized what I did wrong I put it that as message.author should be this here should be like that because we're checking for the mentioned member and not the message author okay so now let's try it and also if you need source code don't worry it is in the github in the server just join the server and you'll find the github in the information channel if I now ping myself, as you can see, ultra X up to ultra X. So now if I did anything, if I send anything, it will say you into AFK anymore. And in the database, here it said false and no. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.